What's up, family? Jared the Boss Man here. You're tuned into the Boss Man Show on AM 1010, AM 1430, 1055 The King. Get the King out at 105theking.com and the Boss Man Show at bossmanshow.com. Hit me up on Instagram, the Boss Man Show, Twitter at Boss Man Show, and Facebook, Boss Man Show. It's the Boss Man on your radio. Listen to the Boss Man Show with your host, JR, Saturdays at 9 a.m. right here on AM 1010, The King. What's up, good people? Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. The latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball boxing, golf, and more. Better Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wages, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use your promo code BLEAV, B-L-E-A-V, for your 50% welcome bonus. On your first deposit, bet online when the game starts. BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV. Yes, BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV, covering content and hot topics from A to Z. Sports, music, society and culture, movie reviews, you name it, we have it. Check it out on bs3network.com or... Check us out on Roku, BS3 TV on Roku, as well as check out your favorite podcast on all podcast platforms or Spreaker.com backslash BS3 Network. You are now tuned to BS3 Network. Back on the Boss Man Show, the Coach Matt McKillop, Davidson Wildcats here with me on the Bottle Splash Show. Year two at Davidson here for me, been the head coach. But talk to you, how are things going with you guys over there, Coach? Uh, we're doing great. We are, we're nine practices in um, to obviously the upcoming season, and we got 21 left. Uh, November 7th will be here before we know it. Um, we've got some upcoming um, close scrimmages and, and uh, inter squad fan day type of stuff. So we've got Got a lot going on, but it's exactly what we want right now. We're we're, we're pleased with the progress we're making. Now, Coach McKillop, let me ask you this, man. Uh, from the springtime, those workouts you had, summer workouts, and and now with your practices getting ready for November 7th, how important has it been to build that chemistry uh, with, with your guys, especially in this world of the portal and the NIL, trying to keep guys together on, on the same accord, but how important has it to start from the spring until now to get ready for that first game on November, November 7th? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's essential. Um, that's a great question because it's such a unique atmosphere that we're, we're all, I say dealing with, but we're all a part of. Um, it, 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 all, it all starts on the front end by bringing in the right players and those who you believe fit the the culture, the chemistry, the locker room, the environment we have. And then um, hopefully putting them into this environment and, and, and then it works and they get along. You know, we've practiced, just started you know, a week and a half ago, but we've been together working out since the summer and, and you have different phases. So, so, you know, June, July, August, they, they get to know each other. They're friends. They, they build those friendships and then classes start. So now there's some distractions that's September and then practice just began. So now we're working things out and, you know, there's going to be good days. There's going to be bad days. You're competing against each other in a little bit of a different way. And then for long playing time, shot selection, starting lineup that that's all going to come into play. And hopefully you've built the relationships, coaches amongst players, players and coaches, players and players where everybody has the best interest of the team in mind and is, is selfless enough to, to do whatever it takes for the, for the benefit of the team. So 
it's it's really sounds great how I just said it right there. It, it's really tough to do that. And I, I believe that we've got a special enough group of guys and staff that that we can be an exception when it comes to that. Think, think how crazy it was back in the day when we had the star practices right here and there and over in October. <laughs> trying to build yeah. that chemistry together in when we, this new world we're in, trying to build it all together. We started in late September or no October now. So we have a game in four weeks. It's, like, well, it's funny. Like, it's funny was. you say that. It was, and I, I hate to be the, oh, back when I played kind of guy, but we used to get, uh, when I was a player at, here at Davidson's, we, we got two hours a week on the court with our coaches and you could only have four players in those workouts. And then you would have that for six or seven weeks of preseason, October 15th. That was that first practice. And then I, I don't even know that I can't remember if there was a limitation on hours, but you went like six straight days. Then you had one off day a week. Now you're, you're it's, it's year round now. And you could work out with full groups year round. You could work out with more hours than two year round. So it, it it can be overload and we try to be creative and we try to do different things and we try to find ways to keep everybody excited to get in the gym every day when they're doing it together so much and so long. Um, like right now we're actually, it's Davidson colleges fall break starting today. So we're giving our players the weekend off. Some of them are going home. Some of them are staying here and some of them are in the gym right now. But, um, but I think you need things like that when you're going year round, like we're doing yes. and, uh, it is a long season. It won't be here for a few more weeks, but then that November to seventh, November to seventh, and we hope we're playing March seventh and April seventh. So we we we're we're in it for the long haul, and it's a marathon. And I talk, I know fans don't really really understand this way you and I do, but how important is to have a, a great strength and conditioning staff to make sure your guys are healthy and fit and ready for that long two semester season from November seventh, hopefully through late April, late March through April there. I mean, it, it is critical. Um, I would say for us, it's even a little more critical because Davidson College does not have graduate school. So we cannot take graduate transfers. And, and we are OK with that. And, and we believe we found a way to use it to our advantage when it comes to recruiting the perfect fits for us out of high school. Um, that being said, we're not getting 22 or even 23. There's even some 24 and 25 year olds we seem to be playing against now. But we're not getting those guys who have been in a college weight room for three or four years entering our team. We're getting freshmen who some of them may have gone to prep school, but many of them are 18 when they get here. And and, and they've got progress that they have to make quickly in the weight room. Um, our strength coach is great. Name is Brian Seitz. We have our own weight room. I mean, he does incredible work with our players, as does our athletic trainer, Justin King. And, and yes, the, there's major importance to getting bigger, stronger, faster, more explosive. But just as important is being available and injury prevention. And at Justin King, our athletic trainer, works hand in hand every day with our, our strength coach and our coaching staff to as big and strong as we want these guys to be. We just want them to be available to play and, and be injury free and prevent and, and put them in position to uh, be preventative for these injuries. So uh, it's it's. It's again, it's different than when you and I probably were doing this and, you you know, you, you did some curls and some bench press. No, this, this is big time now. Yeah, because uh, you, 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 you got me by one year. I, I'm 80, 84. So you got me by one year. So, so yeah. <laughs> so we're definitely. I'm sorry, it froze for a second here. So uh, it froze for a second. So I might have missed your, I might have missed something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, dear freeze. I was saying, like, you got me by a year. Like, I'm 84. So you got me by a year. So, so like back when we were doing it, it was just a little dumbbell here or there, man. <laughs> you back, coach? Yeah. Cool deal, cool deal. Zoom, folks, it's a Zoom. Folks. I, I I got you here. I'm, you're, you're, yes, now I got you. Now I got you. Sorry. No, you're fine, Coach. Y'all still the listeners. This is Zoom. That's what happens on Zoom sometimes. Oh, we yeah. Have to, have to make adjustments. While I was saying, Coach, when it froze up, it's like, you got me having my hand by, by one year. Like, I'm I'm 84, you're 83. So you got me by, by a year. So back when we were doing it, it was just little dumbbells yeah. here or there. Like you see, it's like just a little curl here and there. And go out there and play, you know. Oh, yeah. The stuff we did, they don't even do that anymore. They got more advanced, smarter, more intelligent things that they can do to get better. I couldn't imagine having having a snacks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, and they get them in snack. right away. Right away. <laughs> yes, yeah. sir. Now, Coach Westgis, man, for you, man, looking at your roster, what's some guys you want to highlight who who really gotten better for you from the spring until now, having a, a big year with this year. Um, I mean, I get, we, we were so excited about the roster that we have. Um, we have 
newcomers who we thought would eventually find their way into the rotation and become good players for us that have shown right away that they, they can impact winning right now. Uh, and everybody likes to hear about the new guys and, and our new guys are good, but uh, we've seen major progress and development um, for, from, I mean, I, I don't want to, I don't want to leave anybody out, but I will mention, I'll mention four of our, of our guys who played decent minutes for us last year. Uh, Grant Huffman is a senior for us. Um, he is, he's the one guy is uh, he's the one scholarship player who who is is now here for his fourth year. Um, he came in with one of the freshmen and that guy, or when he was a freshman, there was one other player in his class and, and he, his name is Emery Lanier. He went and transferred actually to go play for his father, which was, is a pretty special opportunity. Um, Grant is, is had a great year. He's been our best defender, but his offense has really taken off. His shooting numbers have never been consistent, but they have been very consistent since we started practicing uh, and, and throughout the fall. But but he just looks like a stud every single day in his ability to just know how to play the way we want, know how to defend in a way we want to try to defend. And then and then he's just producing. Uh, David Skogman really came along. He, he was our backup four or five man for us last year. He really came along as the season. Um, his conference season started to get into play. He was a transfer. It always takes a little bit longer. And um he, he, he's been really, really good. Um, he's shooting the ball well. He's rebounding incredibly well. And he just has a presence like 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 he knows he can be the best player on the court day in and day out. Uh, Reed Bailey was a freshman for us. Argument could be made that he could have been and should have been on the all-freshman team in the Atlantic 10. Incredible potential. And he's starting to tap into that potential. And he's, he's maybe the hardest worker on our team in terms of the investment he's made in our gym. And then uh, Connor Kachera, another transfer, but, um, I mean, Connor would probably be the first to tell you it, it was a challenging year for him. He started and then he came off the bench and then some of his minutes were up and down. Uh, and he is just committed to doing anything that the coaching staff asks of him. And all the little things that us coaches value, he is exceeding – trying to find the way where to phrase it. But more than anybody on this roster, he understands that that's what he can do better than anybody. And it's 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 showing every single day in practice. And it's, it's why uh, – you know, we've got young guys. Uh, we're probably not going to have anybody on the preseason all-conference team, but we're going we're gonna to really surprise some people, I believe, because of the progress those guys have made. But people like Connor who see the things that we really value and can make our team better and trying to do that to the best of their abilities. And I love the AT and Coach McClub. I think you all should get more than one B or two or three Bs because it's so tough in the AT. There's no easy nights in the AT. The coaching is off the chain in the AT every yeah. night, man. So I feel like you all deserve a, a more than what you get before tournament recognition. But talk about it for yourself inside the AT and about trying to go against these guys, the different styles you see, how fun it is for you as a coach. I know it's not fun to get, be, get not to have the so, 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 so hard guys, but it's fun to compete against guys like Frank Martin and Anthony Grant, the guys like that in, in, in that league, man. Yeah, and – you almost lose sight of it because you're so consumed by your team and getting better and preparing for games. But, um, you know, last year was my first year as a head coach and it went by so fast, but I, I, I wish I appreciated more that handshake with Frank Martin, who's a legend and maybe a future hall of famer and, and Anthony Grant, we go and play a date in an incredible environment. And, that, and that's special. And, and I know in the moment I, I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. But, um, you know, Archie Miller is a great coach. Fran Dunphy, a Hall of Famer at, La, at uh, LaSalle. I mean, so many great coaches that you get to compete against. And and you mentioned we, we were a one-bid league last year. It, it was disappointing. I think we all just have to do a better job in non-conference play. And, and yeah, we want to knock off the, the top 25 teams, the BCS teams, the Power 5 teams that we play against, and hopefully we will. Uh we just we but we can't have bad losses because once it comes a bad loss in non-conference play that could carry in a conference play and that that team who had that bad loss could then be a bad loss for others in the league. So uh, I think overall as a league we've had a good scheduling um, approach. Uh, we just got we got to play well. Now, hopefully we'll, we'll coach well. Best is coach for you. I know that scheduling is a tough thing to to, to to perfect and get right the whole science to it. So for you, like big coming to head coach now. How has scheduling been for you these last two years trying to make the schedule out and get, get the right balance of home and away MTEs and find the right balance for you to get you prepared for the A-team? Yeah, it, 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 it can change every year in terms of, okay, what does this team need? Does this team need to have all these, uh, you know, tier one type of games that 
If we win that one, that's going to put us in, uh, you know, that's going to bump us up on the bubble. Uh, do we want to have a schedule knowing we have a young team that, all right, we want to make sure that we're just getting better. We're getting confidence. We're learning how to play the way we want. So then when we get to conference play, we're ready to be one of the better teams in the conference that we believe that we can be. There's years where what, what can we do? We haven't had a good home game that our fans can really get excited about a non-conference play. So there's all these different dynamics and you put it all down on paper and then you got to get teams to agree and the date has to work out. And we have a women's team that has to have their dates work out. And believe me, we work great together with our women's program, but there's so many ins and outs and it never works just the way you want. Um, so it, it is a challenge. It's a challenge for everybody, but it, it is a challenge. And I, I do believe we've got a really attractive schedule this year and, Everybody's drawn to the big name teams, but we'll play Maryland in the Asheville Classic and we'll have a chance to play UAB or, or Clemson, obviously, um, on the other side, bit based on winning and losing. And um, I think a lot of people will circle on their calendar to watch us play at St. Mary's. Uh, and they'll probably be a top 25 team this year. They were a top 25 team last year. Interesting. Steph Curry's last game in a Davidson uniform was out at their gym in, in an NIT road game um, at St. Mary's. So this will be our first time going back there since Steph's last game. They're going to they're going to come back to Davidson to return that game in the future. So uh, pretty exciting for us. One hundred percent. I feel like with you being so close to Charlotte, guys should want to come play you because you're close to Charlotte. Like it's, it's you get an easy in from the airport, you little drive up up north there. So I feel like coming to Davidson would be an easy thing for guys. But I know guys will want to do. Some guys want to be home all the time. But I just know the location of where your college is is very much attractive. A lot of schools there you can play regionally, regionally too from South Carolina as well. So I feel like you're in a great spot to, to get some non-con games. But you said the date must work, and today one or three play would not must be the desire must be there. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's a it's a good problem. It's a bad problem. I mean, if, if teams don't want to play us, that means there's some level of respect. Um, and again, they're trying to do the best thing for their team. Uh, Charlotte is there's major convenience to Charlotte. You, you're exactly right. There's an airport. You can th- get direct flights most places, most cities. Um, it, you know, there, there's a different level of convenience to then say, you know, to fly in a good Bowie's Creek to play Campbell, let's say. So um, so I, I do I do hope people see that being an advantage. But I do understand, I, you know, people are going to do what they believe to be best for their program. And if Davidson doesn't fit, we we feel just the same way about some teams that want to schedule us. And, Coach, how cool is it being in, the air, in near Charlotte? Because your guys can get the internship with some time with those 20 hours, uh, with those four hours you have some time, internship for networking opportunities with the Hornets, the Panthers, other teams in the area. So let's talk about that piece of being in Charlotte there to help your young men. But after basketball, what's the boss of basketball? All of us, they can test them all back to their degree from Davis, Davis College and have networking as well. They already built in when they was in school. Yeah, it's it's great. Uh, there's so many Davidson alums that that live in Charlotte, and there's also a lot of young alums that live in Charlotte. So a lot of kids who graduate from Davidson, you know, that they, they'll they'll go right to Charlotte whether they have a job or they're going to find a job and, and it's, it's the convenient place to go. So there, there are many opportunities. Uh, finance banking is so big in the city of Charlotte and uh, Davidson college's economics program is phenomenal. So many, many of our recruits or our students who we have will, will end up going that path. And there are great opportunities for summer um, or, or, or even after college that our players have been able to take advantage of uh, in terms of what you said about the, the Hornets, the the Panthers, the MLS team, the uh, FC Charlotte, I mean, there's there's a lot to do. And I mentioned it being a year round thing now. And our, our players are always um, half the time I see it on on their Instagram or their Twitter, but they're doing some fun things in Charlotte that I'm like, wow, I, I wish I wish when I was in school, I would have had a chance to to do some of those things. So th- there's there's a lot of life to this area, Lake Norman, the town of Davidson, which has grown incredibly over the years, and obviously the access to Charlotte um, from a future professional standpoint I, I believe it's a, it's a tremendous opportunity for our players and, and hopefully future players as well as just the the access we have to some exciting things to do around town and the people that will hopefully be supporting us and, and coming from charlotte to, to to cheer for us this year 100 percent, coach i got one more for you man so for you when you're not in that grind of coaching how, how do you kind of Get some get, 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 get compress a little bit to get away from the game a little bit to keep, 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 keep your mental health to as good as it possibly can with this ground of coaching. What well, I'm sorry, I lost you. What do I do? Yeah, kind of when, when you're not in this okay. Grind of so when I when I try to contain my mental health by leaving the gym, I go home and try to contain my health with my uh six year old, my four year old, my one year old. Um, but I spent I spend time with my family, I, I get to go to 
like I said, we have fall break. I'm pretty fired up to go to a six-year-old soccer game tonight. Uh, my daughter just started playing soccer and um, she has so much fun. So I have a lot of fun watching her play. Um, I wish I could tell you, I've got some fun hobby, some cool hobby. Uh, I, my hobby growing up was Davidson basketball. My, my father was the head coach here for 30 years and oftentimes the most important thing in my life was following and pulling for that team that that's now my hobby as well as my job. Um, I live block and a half from, from our gym. So I can pop home for lunch and, and, and eat with my wife and, and my one year old every day. And I can pick up or take my kids to school every day um, and, and get home quickly from practice after dinner to spend that time with them. And, you know, I, I think, I think the summertime is where you take some, take advantage of some of those hobbies, but that those hobbies of mine are typically traveling, spending time with my family and, um, you know, hanging out with my friends, many of whom are former Davidson basketball players. And that's, that's beautiful coach. I, I feel like it's very important. I try to do the same thing for me and, and my staff. You know, I got some, I got young kids too. And I have to kind of say, Hey, Kansas, Ken, I'll be about the Falcons, the Hawks, the radio, you know, you have to be within time for them as well. So I'm we're getting better at that, you know, as, as, a, as I have a four and two year old. So I'm trying to get better at that myself, coach, you know, yeah. and, and, and have that, that, that kind of holistic view of, Hey, I need to get off the ground. So and just be a family yeah. man, you know, right. But yeah, coach, I tell you what, man, it's good to see you. Uh, the Hawks will be in town the twenty fifth for opening night. Whole fact, come there and see you guys practice. Uh, if this was okay Absolutely. with you. Absolutely. Absolutely. We, we we got a crowded house, but maybe I can find a find a corner for you to lay down in. Yes, sir, coach. I'm gonna definitely send my number offline here so you can say contact at coach. But good to talk to you, man. Hope to let you with, with you down the road if you ever in Atlanta. Let me know. Let us take you out to lunch or something, man. Uh, anything I can do to help Davidson basketball, man. I'm all about it. Please reach out to me. I'd love to help, help you guys out, man. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks for having thanks, me on. Thanks, Coach. It was fun, man. All right. You take care. BS3 Network. Changing the way you watch TV. Yes, BS3 Network. Changing the way you watch TV. Covering content and hot topics from A to Z. Sports, music, society and culture, movie reviews. You name it, we have it. Check it out on bs3network.com or check us out on Roku, BS3 TV on Roku, as well as check out your favorite podcast on all podcast platforms or Spreaker.com backslash BS3 Network. You are now tuned to BS3 Network. What's up, good people? Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. The latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wages, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use your promo code BLEAV, B-L-E-A-V, for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online when the game starts. What's up, family? Jared the Boss Man here. You're tuned into the Boss Man Show on AM 1010, AM 1430, 1055 The King. Get the King out at 105theking.com and the Boss Man Show at bossmanshow.com. Hit me up on Instagram, the Boss Man Show, Twitter at Boss Man Show, and Facebook, Boss Man Show. It's the Boss Man on your radio. Listen to the Boss Man Show with your host, JR, Saturdays at 9 a.m. right here on AM 1010, The King.